everyone, it's Elizabeth and welcome to my kitchen table. Today I'm coming with you with <laughs> empties. I decided to um, definitely do my first empties. I hope these are something that you're interested in. As I have a huge haul video that's coming up pretty soon and uh, I needed to get these empties out. So let me start with, uh, oh, can we start with what I don't like first? Um, it's about 10 uh, shampoo and uh, conditioner and the leave-in conditioner. Um, this was be recommended to us by a really good friend of ours. It's supposed to be good for you and your hair. I used it. I, I lost a lot of hair. I have a full bottle of leave-in conditioner. We probably used about that much in it. It's just, it, it does not uh, make our hair feel great. Not just myself, but my, my daughter's as well because she has thick, thick, thick hair. And um, it made her scalp uh, extremely dry also as well. It made her hair fall out. It's just, to us personally, it's not good shampoo. So maybe this is something what's in here that does not work with this. But it is the, it's about 10 uh, Miracle Shampoo Plus Carrington, um, which is sulfate free. And this is for me, unfortunately, I did not like. After all the process of my hair um, pretty much going down the drains, what I did was, um, I probably should make. Am I supposed to make these I, these products look presentable, or do they actually look beat up when they're used? But mine are beat up. But I actually end up recovering my hair with the Dove Hair Therapy Damage Solutions. It brought my hair back to um, somewhat normal. It's I I'm still continuously using. I did end up buying another set of this, and uh, I love this. The Intense Repair is pretty much. Uh, my life saver at this time right now. So I've been using it for about two months and uh, it's brought my hair back to somewhat, let's use this, is decent. Let's look at this. <laughs> it's all beat up. This is that Shea Moisture um, Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1 Renewal System that I got in my Target Beauty Box. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link down below. But that day when I did it, which is when I I want to say it was like a Wednesday, that Friday, I actually ended up going out of town and um, I took uh, just shampoo, no conditioner. So I wanted to see how it worked without conditioner. But with only having the shampoo and no conditioner, oh my God, it was wonderful. I was actually able to comb my curly hair after the fact that I got out of the shower. It was great. I instead of you know rinsing it out immediately like I would like normal shampoo I actually left it in there and the entire time I was in the shower when I went after I lather it and uh, I went right before I got out of the shower and rinsed it out and my hair felt great so this is a purchase I will do just to try one more time which I'll do the shampoo and conditioner together to see how that works but I loved it the smell was great the texture is great I love that stuff and then it was amazing so that's definitely gonna be another buy let's see the next hair product is oh okay let me pull them out and if you know and i always say this i don't use any hair products in my hair except for one item which is the citrus shine anti-frizz polish let me show you the back label and um, this is the only thing i use in my hair i don't put a uh, mousse a gel hairspray nothing in my hair other than this this product um, i am completely empty and uh, it was a sad, sad day when I had no more because these are very scarce in Walmart. That's where I purchased it from. But uh, there's no product in here at all, as you can see. But I love this stuff. This is really great stuff if you have curly hair. It's amazing. So I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But when I say mousse and gel, that I don't use it, I could say I fibbed because <laughs> let me just show both of them at the same time. I have a gel and a mousse that I've had for about two years. And uh, I finally finished them. The only reason why I finished them and used them was because I was completely out of the Citrus Shine polisher. So of course I had to go digging in the boxes inside the black hole and have to dig out some type of hair products. But I finally used the complete uh, curl, the Pantene Style Pro, the uh, curl gel. I finally used this all the way and I might purchase it again. I know the formula has changed. Look how old this is. I hope you can see this. It's so dark and so cloudy outside. The California weather today is weird. It's really bipolar. It was 80 degrees two days ago, and today it's only 59 degrees with rain this morning. So uh, it's, it's quite crazy. But it's so old. I mean, I have crud. I got hair stuck to this. It's it's old. But I had this for about two years. And same as well as this. I mean, I got it for $2 at Big Lots. That's how long ago I had it. And... Uh, 
if you can hear, I still have it. I just don't like the, I used it and I don't like the way it made my hair feel. I feel like it was hard. Uh, my hair didn't curl very well and it is a curl, um, construct to mousse. So, and it is, if ex it's supposed to be weightless curls and hold extra strong. No, it was extra strong hold, but it felt heavy. I didn't like it. So I have about half and I'm just going to toss it. As we talked about hair, let's do face products. Okay, I went to um, Arizona for a vacation. My hubby was there for uh, spring training, um, and I have family that live there, so I kind of killed two birds with one stone. But during that time when I was there, I ran out of um, makeup remover, which is the go-to. I absolutely love this, which is the Avon Eye Makeup Remover. It, I love this. It's an eye makeup uh, remover and a lotion, and let me tell you, I could put it on my eye, let it sit for maybe 10 seconds. It takes everything off from um, waterproof, anything. And it doesn't burn the eyes. My eyes are so sensitive and so soft. Here, any type of um, liquid, uh, eye makeup remover, anything other than this, my eyes burn and I feel like my skin is tearing. But um, I love this and it lasted me quite some time. But this is some really amazing stuff. If you haven't tried it, I definitely do recommend it. I love the Avon eye remover. I wouldn't recommend anything else. So I tried something else, which a review will be coming up on that. Mm -mm. Um, Mama's going back to um, the Avon product. So I used all of that. I had, I had to go to uh, Walgreens and purchase um, some makeup remover. And it ended up getting the wipes. The Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I like these. It came in a travel pack. It came with seven pre-moist moistened towelettes. But to be honest, if at first it felt great, but when after I take it all off and right before I washed, it kind of felt slimy, not slimy, but really a weird texture. Uh, I didn't like it. Uh, so good enough to take your makeup off, but immediately you need to wash the, the, the type of lotion or makeup remover that's on your face off immediately. The next thing I had was that I used was um, completely all was my very first primer ever for my face, which is e.l.f. The e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. I love this stuff. Uh, when I first used it, I didn't know what a primer was. I was told I needed to get one to actually wear foundation. I bought this in September. It's amazing stuff. It was so soft, um, so smooth. I made my makeup look great, but now I try to pump it. It's nothing. It's kind of a I could tell it's gotten old, I guess you could say. I'm, I need to find out if there's expiration date or anything like that because it's not, let me show you, the same texture when I originally bought it. Uh, it's kind of hard. It's not the same and it doesn't even feel the same either. But um, it is all used. I ha it's been empty for about two weeks. I'm going to repurchase this, but I want to try the poreless one. They have a, a poreless face primer, which is what's I, that's what I have. I want to try that. The, let's do the Oral Belay products. I have two Oral Belay products. I love this. I bought this because of the little beads in there made my face feel good. And I would use this when I, you know, on Sundays and Saturdays to give myself a good cleansing because it had the little beads in there and I love everything about it. It's the Re uh, Re Regenerist Advanced Anti-Aging because I am getting older. I consider myself as a mature woman. It helped me out a lot. I with these, I would have used this on the days that I wouldn't wear makeup, so I love it. And then once I was done with this, I would use the Eye Complex uh, for around my eyes because it helped me out. I know the packaging does look a little different and when I double checked um, the packaging, it's a completely different package. I'm not sure if the formula is the same, but I have this for about a year and because it's I used very little underneath and uh, that's that. Oh, almost done here guys, I'm so sorry. The other things that I used is my e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Ex ex my e.l.f. lip exfoliator, I can't pronounce it. But this is what I have left. Uh, I love this. This is, I have to get another one. See these little, these little things. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off guys, I promise. These are the best. These are the best feeling ever. When I originally got this, it was, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. I could go for minutes, up to five minutes and I'm <sighs> loving this, smelling it, tasting it. Yes, mama taste because it felt so good smelled so good and it I went that's what I did and I needed to taste it and 
It tastes good. I'm not sure you're supposed to eat it or not, but uh, this is wonderful stuff. I need to purchase another one. I'm just waiting for it to go on sale on the website. For some reason, ever since I bought all my original e.l.f. products for 50% off, I can't see the purpose of purchasing e.l.f. products again until it's 50% off. I don't know. I have an issue, but I need more e.l.f. stuff. So uh, a repurchase on that okay. will be coming. Tell me this. Do any of you guys still have your packages for your um, products? I do. Isn't that crazy? But what I have here is my very first concealer I ever purchased in September when I turned 36, which is the Tarte CC uh, Colored Clay Under Eye Corrector in light medium. I absolutely love this. Uh, I cry because it is so expensive, but it does wonder on my face. I, oh, I mean, if I could swim in this, or if my eyes could swim in this, I definitely would. But I hit major, major pan to the point where I was using my fingernail and scooping all this stuff out. Uh, but I have a repurchased this. Repurchased this. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I guess that's what you're trying to get. I guess that's what you get for doing a video on lunch without eating lunch first. So, and rushing. So I apologize. But I love this stuff. Um, I hit major pan on it and I still have the package. I have packages for all my items. I don't know why. It's just a really bad habit. But um, that's where it belongs. If it came in a box, it goes back in the box. My little <laughs> mascaras. I love these. One of them, it's, they're real. And yeah, I love mascara, but I can't foresee coughing out uh, tons of money on a, a full size because honestly, this took me an entire... See, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. No, eight months to use this. Just this little thing. Uh, I finally dried out. There's nothing. It finally dried out. And uh, I, it was up to three days ago. I tried putting it on and it was no more. So um, I love this. And I know mascara has an expiration date, but um, I love them. They're real. And another thing is I actually really like the makeup forever smoky extravagant uh, mascara I love this I actually love this something about it was you're able to get in there and just go up and this but this also dried out as long as this month as well and uh, I have not seen or looked up the cost for a uh, another one or travel or a full size but I did get this for my birthday at Sephora when I purchased my concealer my very first concealer and foundation. This was a definite benefit, and I love this as well. <sighs> do you really want to know what's underneath my armpits? Do you? Well, if you do, it's this. <laughs> it is, well, it's me and my daughter's my, on the inside. Uh, it's which is a secret, no, actually, suave. Sorry, was amazing. She loved it. She didn't smell like a big burly man at the end of the day because my daughter can smell like a big burly man. But um, it was great. It's a twist up. Um, I only got it for 48 cents on clearance. I want to say this is a Target tag. Yes, the inf infamous red tag at Target. And uh, I bought about four of them for her. So this is great. Um, the last couple of things we had was lotions. Uh, I think that's it. it was, I got four things and we're done, guys. Uh, what I got is I used to be a big Victoria's Secret fan. Used to be, and that's the thing. Until they got rid of my favorite of all time, which is Pretty in Pink um, lotions and hand creams. They got rid of it. And then from there, I fell in love with Love Spell. This has been my ultimate only lotion I've ever used. I actually prefer the body, hand and body cream because I like the thickness and the texture. Along with that, I also did the Secret Charm. It's okay. It's not pretty and pink and it's not love spill. It's a little something different. It was okay, but I used it all because I wasn't going to waste it. Turn, I found a new lotion that really, 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 really loved, which is the Hemp's Lotion. As you can see, this is a half empty one. This is the original Hemp's. Um, we came to terms Years ago, when I found Hemp's Lotion, um, I was on um, Hate and Ashberry. It was sold. Let me know and comment down below. Is This is something that you know you definitely care about if you're interested. Because um, this is totally new to me. And it feels kind of funny sharing the things that I like and that I tried and what I don't like.